So into our previous video already we have seen how we can create a file. So let us begin with if I want to copy, move or rename a file, what the command will be using here. So if I want to copy a file, we have a cp command. Same way if I want to remove or rename a file, we have a mv command. So mv basically is a move command where we can locate a directory or a file created on one location to any particular location. So basically it is cut and paste. You are cutting from an original location and you are pasting it into a different location. That is a move. Same way this particular command can also be used for renaming a file. So basically concept which generally it follows is it cuts a file from the same location and pastes the file into the same location with a different name. So generally it is again used for renaming a file. The next command we have that is cp. cp is for copying a file. So you can copy a file in the same location with a different name or you can copy a file into the different location as well. The difference between move and copy is move will delete the file from the original location and it will be completely transferred to the other location while the copy will keep the data in both the location, the original as well as the destination location which we generally use into the windows operating system as well. Let us check into the terminal how we use these commands. So here in this video, we are going to see how to rename a file first. So into our earlier video, we have created file 1 and file 2. For example, I want to rename this file file 1. So if I want to rename the file, I can give the command mv. So as we have already discussed earlier, we can use mv for renaming the file as well as we can use the same command for moving a file as well. First, I am going to rename it. I want to rename a file with name file1 to a new file name. For example, I am going to define the file name as doc1 and hit enter. Give the command list long. You can find file1 is not there and we got the command or the file with name doc1. Let us check the doc1. So doc1, you can check the content of the doc1 by giving the command cat doc1 you can see we have added the same line here the cat file command is to add in the file system simultaneously so this was the content of the doc1 same what we had into the file1 right so here what we did is we moved the data from or the file1 from the same location and we have just copied it on the same location that's what exactly the moving does so for example, now I want to move this doc1 from my home directory to the desktop. So if I want to do that, I can give the same command mv for moving a file. Which file I want to move is doc1. Now where I want to move? I want to move into home, whose desktop? My trainer's desktop. So trainer slash desktop in desktop D should be capital hit enter and now you can see and graphically also we can see your doc1 is moved there and if I give the command ll there is no doc1 that means I have moved the file from my home directory to the desktop same way if I want to move back again I can give the command mv where I have located the doc1 the source complete path I have not to define home slash trainer slash desktop slash the document file name doc1 and where I want to move it for moving it here itself just I'll give the dot okay so the desktop spelling is wrong I need to add right so you can check from there we cannot find doc1 now it is moved back to your same location so defining a same location you can also define dot now same way if I want to move all files from here to any particular location I can also define by giving dot to the other location or if I want to define any particular file which is starting with D I want to move it to any other location like for example I want to move it to slash home slash trainer slash documents 
So we also have the document directory into the trainer. Let us check. It does, uh, it does not have here. Now this D file, the file which was starting with D was your only doc1. So we have moved into the document. So if I want to move inside the document directory, I can give the command cd space document and hit enter. You can see doc1 is located over here. This means how you can move a file from one location to another location or if you can rename a file by using the mv command itself. Now here I'm going to show you the other command which we are going to discuss here that is your copy. So into our previous video we have seen we have already moved a file from the other location to this location right now this is I'm um, into the documents we can check the pwd command I'm um, into document I'm um, into slash home slash trainer slash documents means I'm in a documents of the trainer user now I want to copy this doc1 in the same place with a different name I can do it how will we be doing it by giving the command cp doc1 and I want to save this file over here itself with a different name for example we can add with demo1 hit enter let us check we got both the files demo1 and a doc1 now if I want to copy the same file on my desktop I'll be giving the command home slash trainer or if suppose I want to define the same file here I can also define the name of the file like demo1 I want to copy to slash home slash trainer slash desktop and if I hit enter it will copy the file with the same name demo1 now if I want to copy the file the same file demo1 with a different name what I'll do I'll just give the name of the file which I want to keep it over there so I'll just define the file name as data1 so it is a copy of demo1 with the name data1 let us check the content of demo1 or your existing original file demo1 this is the content even here if I click and do demo1 I'll get the same content into it right same way even here I will get the same content got it that means we have created a copy of this document into multiple places so this is we have seen how we can use mv command for renaming a file mv command for moving a file as well as mv command we have used for replacing a file or to change the location of a file same here we have seen copy command we have copied a file into the same location as well as into different location with the same name as well as into different name. So in the next video I'm coming up with more file management.